tale of two men. Sometimes events occur which, although separate in locality, have features in common or, when compared, reveal a clarity that they would not possess apart. Cases in point A. A young man, reportedly for the high crime of possessing a three-inch knife, gets shot repeatedly until dead. His alleged offense, causing fear in a cop. B. A middle-aged man, armed as if about to engage in war, drives to a Colorado Springs abortion clinic and engages in an hours-long rampage, shooting nine and killing three before quitting his tantrum and submitting to arrest. Upon arrest, he is neither beaten nor kicked nor stomped nor shot. I am, of course, referring to the cases of Laquan McDonald, 17, late of Chicago, Illinois, and of Robert L. Deere, 57, of Colorado Springs, site of a Planned Parenthood clinic. One, it must be said, black men receive hyper attention when in the presence of cops, so much so that, as a rule, white guys fade into the background of normality, unseen, unchallenged, even when they are carrying arsenals. Again, as in Deer's case, he drove to the clinic and then carried arms into the site of Planned Parenthood. One man was virtually invisible. Another man was hyper-visible. In such cases as these, both paths led to disaster. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. What's up? I, what I was saying? Do I hit the all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? It's your brother Yang and Kruma coming with you at the Arena Uncensored once again. Man, excited to bring another show. Um, and let's do like we always do and run down our panelists. I be your brother Gidon, a radicalized Hebrew ratchet, your Hebrew. Hebrew. He said, run, run our panical, pan, um, um, pan, uh, panel, panel down. down. I'm just yeah. like, with what? Yeah. <laughs> um, my name is Dawn, um, local activist, um, you know, mostly working with Hello Racism here in Georgia, and happy to be here. It's your boy Vince Cheeks, a.k.a. Ghetto Messiah, uh, actor, entertainer, activist. Uh, thank you for tuning in to tonight's show of the Arena Uncensored. Uh, we have some hot topics to discuss tonight. Mm -hmm. Some of the, You might have heard about some of these shootings going on in the news. Uh, so we're going to dive into that. I want to say thank you to the panel for being here tonight. I appreciate y'all. It's always a good, a good time. Always. You know? always. <laughs> okay. So as you know, there have been a couple of mass shootings mm. in the past, really three weeks, if you take it back to the Paris attacks, mm -hmm. um, where people run around shooting, shooting people up. But we're going to keep it here domestically for this show. And in the past week, there have been three mass shootings. Mm -hmm. We know about the main two concerning Robert Louis Deere uh, shooting up the Planned Parenthood in Colorado. And then just yesterday, there was another shooting with a couple who went on a shooting rampage in an office building mm -hmm. um, in San Bernardino, California. But a little close to home, which nobody really knows about, which is we're here in Atlanta, was a mass shooting in Savannah that happened yesterday also. Mm. And, and in that mass shooting, uh, four people got shot. Uh, one woman died and three men were injured. And the police haven't arrested any subject, any suspects in that shooting. What that shooting happened at? In Savannah. I mean, what, where? Like on a campus or something? Uh, no, nah, it was on a street. Okay. In, in, okay. A, in, a, in a residential area. There was also another shooting. Uh, five, you know, black um, Black Lives Matter protesters were shot. Yeah, you mentioned that. Where did that, where did that yeah. happen? I think that was because uh, I have a friend who's in Minneapolis. I think that was it. Yeah, it was Minne yeah. Minneapolis. Okay. And so you know. It's interesting that the press hasn't really, you know, right. they arrested three three white white men in con in connection with that. Right. But then, you know, people weren't talking about mass shootings at that time. I guess, you know, those lives didn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you did that, Giddy. Okay. 
But let's talk about Robert Lewis Deere in the Planned Parenthood shooting. Um, in that shooting, he killed three people. Two were civilians, one was a police officer, a campus police officer at uh, Colorado, University of Colorado. Mm -hmm. And um, in that shooting, he brought several guns, several ammunition, and propane tanks that he set around his car. I guess he was, was going to blow. He was going to try to blow up himself up. You know, I guess if he got mm -hmm. caught up. Um, but of course, this happened at a Planned Parenthood, and he was in a long standoff with police mm -hmm. for a couple of hours. He got apprehended unarmed unarmed and unharmed mm -hmm. um and once he got arrested he was rambling to the police officers no more baby parts no more baby parts no more baby parts <clears throat> about the doctor uh was that is that in reference to the uh doctored up video they showed of a Planned Parenthood right selling baby parts? right well it's in ref yes in reference to them actually selling the aborted fetuses mm -hmm on the market after they've been aborted. Well, I mean, that tape was edited. Well, yeah I, yeah. I also heard that it was the same person who was responsible for uh, the, the sting operation at Acorn some years back, if you remember, when oh, yeah. they were going to challenge. Know. And so I heard that the same uh, perpetrator of that was involved with Planned Parenthood. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is going to bring us into the discussion of gun control and abortion. Mm -hmm. So, my question to the panel is, what can be done by way of gun control to help prevent some of these shootings from happening? Because President Obama came out after the Planned Parenthood shooting and mm -hmm. said, we can't continue to have this happening and this can't be, become normal for citizens of America. Mm -hmm. But the statistics have shown that it has already become normal because mm -hmm. we've had in 2015 355 mass shootings in this country this year. Can we be candid? Yes, I would like to be very candid. Let's be candid because first of all, I forget exactly what amendment is the right to bear arms. Second, no, second, second amendment. Second I amendment. I want to say yeah. second amendment, which I I totally advocate. I am totally. I think citizens should have the right to bear arms. Um, if you have your legal right to bear arms, you should bear arms. But let's be realistic about this thing. And that as Africans here in America, we've never really been that good. white folks are mad because now crazy <laughs> white folks are going shooting they shooting their butts up. Mm -hmm. That's just that's just what it is. You know, and so they, they're using this as an issue for the gun control, this big thing to come up with the gun control. But basically to me that's what it boils down to. With the whole um terrorism and the whole mass shootings, you find a lot of that happening in now that it's affecting and hitting white people, you see this big panic and this big scare. But we've yes. been dealing with gun issues and gun violence <laughs> yes. in our communities. Yeah. I think yeah. one of the things that bothers me every time, you know, and I've actually called people out publicly okay. to address it. You know, uh, every time, you know, when Dylan Roof massacred and, and you know, nine people in a church, in church people right. were not saying that that was a mass shooting. People were not saying, you know, what should we do about these gun laws, et cetera, et cetera. I don't it even seems, think they labeled it domestic terrorism. Yeah. Right. No, the they, thing they, is, is that these questions tend to only come up with particular shootings. The shooting on the college campus, Planned Parenthood, um, you know, Paris. You know, so we're thinking that all of this is happening, but, you know, we don't think about, you know, the numbers of people who have been shot even by police. Right. And I felt like, I feel that, you know, it is important for us to also see, you know, the mass shootings as mm -hmm. far as that goes. Well, when we look at this issue of uh, gun control, the FBI statistics have shown that the number one gun assailant is the European male. Yes. They've killed more, <laughs> you know, maimed more, went crazy more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we already know that. So... When we look at this whole issue, they have a love affair with guns. Mm -hmm. The European is not going to give up his gun, pure rod. Well, out of his cold, dead hands. No. That's, <laughs> what his, that's what his brother <laughs> says anyway. That's exactly yeah. what it is. So either they're going to get them legally, illegally, mm -hmm. uh, national, right. international, they're going to get them. That's what I was about to say because the whole conversation now is surrounding gun control, gun control, stricter mm -hmm. laws, mm -hmm. make it harder to get guns, make it harder to get guns. So... 
if they do enact laws or whatever and make it harder to get guns legally, don't you think that would just expand an already existing black market that Absolutely. we have? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, I would also say that, you know, we don't, I like to get to the heart of things. Okay. And I think that it's important, you know, why are these things happening? Because we've had other people, we can ban guns. Let's say that we decide to ban guns today. What do we do about the bombings? Are we going to ban the bombs? What do we do? <laughs> there have been stabbings. So why are these you know? things happening? So why are these things happening? The thing is, is that you have someone who believed that the people in Planned Parenthood deserve to die. You know, you have people right. who are Even some killing. politicians believe that. Yeah, and, and, and the thing is, is that I, it recalls Dr. Tiller um, from, from years back and, you know, sort of like the, the media, the conservative media hype, people like uh, uh, Bill, Bill O'Reilly right. call, you know, Tiller the baby killer. And so did that rhetoric push? So what some people are talking about is that people are being inspired by Trump to right. be hateful. Mm. So this is now, the, this is tying directly <laughs> with. Wait, I should get him. Hold on, back hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm glad that Don brought that up. As far as the Republicans and their mm -hmm. inflammatory speech yes. and rhetoric, mm -hmm. yes. which may have led uh, Robert Louis Deer to do what he did, and. I didn't know this until I did my research, but apparently the Republicans have just been going in on Planned Parenthood, demonizing them. They were trying to defund it. And comparing to them to again. Nazis mm -hmm. uh, over in Germany and all of this mm -hmm. stuff. And so these are some of the things that were said about Planned Parenthood uh, before the shooting happened. Mm -hmm. Ted Cruz called Planned Parenthood an ongoing criminal enterprise. Mm. Man. Okay. Wow. Marco Rubio said the organization's practices created an incentive for people to be pushed into abortions. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Planned Parenthood, so the, the, the organization's practices created an incentive for people to be pushed into abortions. This mm -hmm. is what politicians are telling their constituents. Yeah, and it's an it's out loud. Right. <laughs> a lot of it is not. Well, a lot so, of that constituency is well, it's propaganda. Yeah. Right. It's Christian based. It's propaganda. And, and so, that's part of an ongoing But, assault. okay, here's this one here. Carly, what's her name? Fiorina. Fiorina, I think. Carly Fiorina. She claims she saw a video, one of the videos you were talking about earlier that you said was edited. Mm -hmm. She saw a video uh, where that depicted a fully formed fetus on the table. Uh-huh. I think us. Legs kicking, heart beating, while someone says, we have to keep it alive to harvest its brain. Yeah, that's... And I'm like... That's a problem. I, if, if this video was out there, it seriously needs to be produced to yeah. ask yeah. any type of credibility yeah. to the stuff that these people are saying. But there have been investigations done that have found that none of this to be true. Right. So. Yeah, it's actually a part of a, um, this is part of an ongoing assault on reproductive rights. Um, right. You know, the, the issue of, you know, they're, they're now moving to the IUD, which is a form of, of birth control. So right. usually what happens is that conservatives don't just stop at abortion. Planned Parenthood, abortion is a very small part of the services they provide. Mm. And they provide a lot of services for a I lot of poor women, said, especially women of color. I think they said, uh, according to Planned Parenthood statistics, that the abortion is made up maybe 3 or 4% of yeah, what really they did. Yeah, really small. And, and, and that's actually, why I'm torn, I have that's why I'm torn at with, as being an African here in America, I'm torn with Planned Parenthood. I am, I am totally torn because I don't... What'd you say on the last show? Six in one hand, half <laughs> a dozen in the other. Uh, <laughs> man, it is, it is, you know, it is, in my opinion, a conspiracy to to uh, keep the black birth rate at a certain level. At a to minimum. Monitor, you know, and I got in this discussion in Cleveland with a sister, and she was like, well, Planned Parenthood really helped me, and they did all this, but we got to look at some of the people. Wait, what's her name? Margaret Sanger. Sanger. Sanger, Sanger behind. Sanger. So we have to look that, at the whole thing, the whole purpose. Eugenics. And, that was eugenics. eugenics. Exactly. She was hot to eugenics. You know what? Exactly. I think that Tony K. Bambara actually talked about this. Um, a lot of times there was this pushback against the pill because people would say pill, the pill was controlling you know, uh, 
controlling reproduction and that a right. lot of women right. had to, you know, part of being revolutionary was to have more revolutionaries. But Tony pointed out that, you know, as I will now, that we have lots of children and lots of people who are in the system and who need care. My right. God, it's to the point where white stars are adopting black kids. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, Sandra Bullock just so adopted I've, another little So black one girl. of the things just, that, that's a trend. That so that's here a trend. in Atlanta, um, Planned Parenthood has launched a, a pilot program to give wor a, a certain uh, type of workers access to health care. Okay. And so, you know, so essentially, you know, STD screening, STI, right. STI now, so yeah. sexually transmitted infection. Right. Um, you know. Cancer screening. Yeah, mammograms. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, stuff let, like let, that. I see Gideon. Let, let me, he let me. To blow up over here. He's been holding this since I was talking about them politicians. You know, bro. this issue of uh, <laughs> Black Lives Matter, there is an issue called Innocent Lives Matter. It's a, they have HIPAA laws that are in force that would not allow video of what happens in an abortion. The last statistics I heard was that we make up 12% of, or 13% well, of the population, 13, 14 of the population. but 30% of the abortions. Of the abortions right. Now, when we look at this issue of innocent life matters, mm -hmm. life... New hashtag. Absolutely. Life in itself is value. Right. And heart, the heartbeat of that zygote starts in the first month. When you see that heart pumping in well, that zygote, it's well, 18 it's days. It's just, wait a minute, let me just make the point. Okay. Yes. So when we talk about <laughs> the value of life itself, it begins our discussion as to where we are in America today when we see lives not having any value. Yeah. So if the sanctity of the womb is not recognized as important then we will continue this downward spiral to where no life on the planet is important we have to get back to the value of the life in the womb being sanctified it's set aside and valuable and that will help to mark and increase the life of value so of let me point something You're anti, out because anti i am the only woman here on the panel and I just heard basically my body being described as an object that is sanctified. Sanctified, you know. I am not a person, and a lot of women have expressed this. Are you gonna go? Are we about to go there with them? Are you well, <laughs> here's what, well, here's what I say. If we're gonna talk about abortion, Let's just know it. that yeah. the three of you. What? Cannot you know? Will never I, ever That's, uh, have to bear a child right, in your body. Right. Okay, and so that, therefore, but. it's a little difficult being the only woman here defending abortion, especially since two people died right. in an abortion in in a, in a place that where abortion is a small thing. So if we want to talk about abortion itself, then okay. you know. So. Let's, I don't know why there's such tension with a woman speaking. No, 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 you're good. You're good. We need that. I, I yeah, tell you, yeah, I want yeah. you here because it's, we it's, need it's yeah. a good balance. But you I'm going to say, I, I don't, I, you know, I, that's, no, not, no, that's, that's not, that's not an entire question. Yeah, 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 but I, you know, I, I don't want our sister, you know, I hate to come off like D. Hartman, that that doesn't make you an authority that men, also because you didn't create that life by yourself. Thank you. I and I, and I black women, and I black, exactly, and I black women have you to. Know, if women have to know that, that, that you true. didn't create that life by yourself. But the and body takes, changes are a very different. I, thing. I understand that, but it takes. You know, know, when we're talking about matters of society, that rules, men morals, seem to and ethics, more than the people of, of of a society, I think that us as African people here in America, uh, African people all over, have to have a communal understanding, and it has to. We have to do what's best. For the society, whether that's male or whether that's female, and being, I a, think being that a woman that's great. doesn't give. I, I think. Yes, that's, so I think that that co you know that that thing is great. Abortion means to selfishness. Uh -huh. well, Absolutely. Does abortion but, but lead here's, itself to selfishness? Here's Absolutely. Another problem. Here's another problem. Absolutely. We are focusing on the woman's body when it's time, you know, having abortion or not, but we're not talking about making sure that our kids, that people, are practicing safe sex. I you got con I got condoms right. at home. Right. You got you know you can you know that prevents STIs. It can also prevent pregnancy. But the thing is, is that every time we talk about abortion, it always seems that there are a lot of men that are trying to control my body. Right. No. No. And no. The no. Thing no. 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 No.
And it's mainly coming from Republicans. I'm going to make sure we don't get too, I'm gonna make sure we don't get too far off the show because no, this no, is we're a whole, talking about abortion. Yeah, this, this is a whole other show. Domestic terrorism. I am perfectly all right. But 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 I don't think that I don't think that I think that that is that 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 is that feminist movement stuff that is always coming to play and it is it is entered the black community and has divided us. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Well, actually, because I think we're going to hold that. I will also say that. Okay. Until you guys come together with us to actually we try talk to, to come, us. we but try to come together. But the thing is, that time, what yeah. okay. you're trying okay. to rule us. Okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna let Gideon okay. get his point yeah. in, and we're I, gonna move I, on. I, I can't get you. him shut up here. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, no, I'm, this you is in, what we you in him. No, no, no. We want you to see. This is the, this is the issue. Because both of y'all going somewhere. The abortion issue. I'm gonna let Gideon close this issue out. Thank you. The abortion issue is a tool for white supremacy. Yes. It has been utilized as a focal point for women to idealize this concept you that, that you're controlling our body when in fact the woman has to control to say, no, I don't want to have sex. See, the marriage. So why not use birth the, control? No, no, no. I mean, you're, see, basically, see, what, what we're dealing with is a philosophy. No. no, we're dealing with a philosophy <laughs> that has put the woman in a sexualized position yes, yes. and created her body as an image and focal point for sex when in reality the man and All the woman both <laughs> no where the man yes, and the woman both have the about. value of life because you can't make one have a, a life without say, one and the when other when you say that men and women work together which is something that i would love as a womanist i'm definitely down with as that. a what Womanist. womanist. That is. There it goes right there. How are we going to work together with well, the very title the of you being you, a, If you don't listen to me, White how can we have work come together? To our sisters. I mean, you don't. You. The thing is, is one that time, you want. Time. What we consider unity in our communities in is community? that it, in, our community, in, in African communities, black communities are not a monolith. There are different types of communities. And until people learn that, you know, we can work together. Instead of saying, well, I'm going to make the decisions, I'm going to call the rules, but we're working together. When, when, when have that is men, not when democratic. When have black men ever have been in a position My womb to is do being it? talked when, like an when, object. Your womb is not being talked. Your womb is not being. Your womb is not being. Your womb. Your womb is not being talked as an object. When have black men ever been in a position to solely control anything in the black community? We have never been in that position. But what? Good point. But but what, what, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But what has happened with this feminist movement and these movements? These white women have come in, co-opted our black women, and have turned our black women. And has made it a womanist movement, right. a uh, a feminist movement, a, a a division between men and women. When it should be a movement of African people in America for empowerment and liberation. One of the things that really turns me is when I see our black women jump on this white woman bandwagon. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And start to really tie their, their issues into their issues. Like you said, first of all, we're not a monolithic community. Mm -hmm. And in no way, shape, form, or fashion are we like these Europeans mm -hmm. over here. So our morals, our ethics, our no ways, and our more ways are totally and completely different. Mm -hmm. And we have to judge according to our standards. Well, as a black woman, the thing that I have a problem with is that every time I try to speak, and you know, a lot of us try to speak, we're told that we have to be silent. P you know, I think that among us, yes, when? you guys are doing it what here. Community? You guys, uh -huh. when I try to Most say, of us are raised by when I black try, women. yes, I think that on the one hand, a lot of men are very supportive of women. You know, I have supportive men in my life. You know, I, you know, in my personal relationships with a lot of men, I'm actually, and you know, and I know that you know through our interactions, yeah. you know that I'm not BS. Yeah, yeah, I know that. So let's stop that right there. And I would also say that if I can't be heard, it's kind of like telling your white friends, this is my, you know, what I experience. It's like, man, we're a part of the human race. We're not supposed to be arguing. We're supposed to work. They do tell us that. Yeah. But and see, so let, me, let me just say this. I'm trying to far, explain. But, 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 and well, we only got an hour. So I just want to say let, for the brothers let, that something let, let maybe let that we need to do on. is get together and talk and actually listen to what your sisters are trying to say. Okay. Well, let me. That's it. You're not listening to me. I'm not listening to you. Okay, that's a different show. I just don't like what I'm hearing. That's another show. Thank you for tuning in to the Arena Uncensored. 
man. Yeah, show, and man. this is and it's not even my topic. personal choice. If I have, if I get pregnant, okay. I'm gonna have a okay. child. But I mean, it's well, like let me let me let me say let me let me say what Planned Parenthood is for. You guys are stacked against me. And no. we're gonna. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? She's not gonna let go. Wait, we gotta address that issue. Stacked against you. Yeah, exactly. That is a woman. I'm questioning that. I feel like, but you keep saying like, no, I gotta address it. 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 Planned Parenthood. Yes. I gotta address it. Planned Parenthood. Let's tell the people what Planned Parenthood does. <laughs> All right. Planned Parenthood is the largest single provider of reproductive health services, including abortion, in the United States. In 2013, Planned Parenthood reported seeing 2.7 million patients in 4.6 million clinical visits and performing a total of 10.6 million discrete services, including over 325,000 abortions. Mm. That, now, now, going back to the point Don made about a 3%, out of 10 million discrete services, abortions only make, make up 325,000. Okay, but, so if you compare the numbers, yeah. but it's, it's, compare the numbers, it's, 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 but it's like point, it's, it's like it's like it's like hold, this with hold, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me let me let me finish because mm -hmm. I, I want to let the people know what. And this is good because we need to is a is abortion right or wrong? Is Planned Parenthood right or wrong? Because like you said, well, we're talking about the shooting where people are dead. Yeah. You know, th does that mean they deserve to die? Exactly. I think that that's right. That's the, right. That's that's the, the essence of that's innocent what, life. Like, innocent life and but the domestic Planned terror. Parenthood has been accused of having the chickens come home to roost, if well, you will, it's, because it's, they're it's, a violent, quote unquote, absolutely organization violent. that are killing that babies. And that selling. Is that is why. Right. And that is why this man came in and. Yeah, so I'm trying to get the people to understand what Planned Parenthood does on let me paper say this. Let me as, say this. as let me, according to them. Let me say this. Let me say this about, about Planned Parenthood, about the whole thing. I don't think, even with me, it's not an issue of abortion. It's an issue of, when you look at Planned Parenthood, you have to look at what anything is used for. Exactly. You know, some poisons taste delicious. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because they have a few services to disguise the real intentions of Planned Parenthood. Is Planned Parenthood beneficial and, and, and edifying to the black, to the African community here in America. Actually, so yes. In fact, yeah. it now, had to, the S, was STD testing. I mean, come so on. So hold on. Now, now you, like, you all do know that in 2008, there was a group of black pastors that got together and sued Planned Parenthood for black genocide. Well, because they said they've been, they whole, they've been wholesaling, providing, providing services <laughs> right. pri primarily in poor and exactly. minority exactly. Exactly. communities exactly. is where these people are. And but they were performing you. abortions and, and taking women's womb out without their permission. Exactly. And, some, yeah, and let me I just remember, say this one thing that. briefly. I remember it. My sister so adequately talked about the woman's body. But have you noticed no one has said anything about the importance of the man's seed? But the it, one living it's a organism to get rid of the black male. Yeah, exactly. And our women okay. are black. Like, 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 that value is not to get wait, rid wait, of wait, black men. Wait, 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 wait. I love black men. That's I'm not trying show. to get rid of black men. That's another show. That's that. I, I just had to say it. That's another show. I just had to say it. You know, it needed so, to be said. Let's, I love black so, men. I'm not trying to get Okay, rid of them. since Yanga put it out there as far as organizations having surface services, yes. mm -hmm. if you will, mm -hmm. and concealing mm -hmm. other shady dealings. Clandestine now, activities. I like that word. Planned Parenthood has been embroiled in uh, controversy since their inception. Mm -hmm. Right. In, what was that, 1916. Margaret Sanger. Margaret old. Sanger, right. And the whole eugenics thing. And Absolutely. eugenics is... Uh, basically, where they were playing with DNA, trying to do targeting the, the extermination of a specific stuff, race right. of people, yeah. and uh, trying to uh, weed out mm, the, exactly. the lesser race of people, the the undesirables, the, uh, you know, your Down syndrome, the black folks and minorities. Yep. Exactly, you know, that's what eugenics was, and and it was is a, usually, right. It's still around today, exactly. But especially back in 1916, you can imagine the racist. You yeah. know, overtones, yeah. philosophy, I, I don't disagree and Margaret about that. Sanger has been Dead put out there as a, as a as a staunch racist. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you know I mean? so yes. so you have to 
is you don't totally um, believe you have to give some credibility to read, George like Washington been dead of, a long time you, you read, too. You still spend the money America with his still name exists. on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Go ahead. You, you were talking about the services right. that they offered, and right. you said that the very small percentage. Right. What were those other services that you saw? Okay. Let's get. Let's get. Because because I know I know them, but I'd like to hear what you said. Okay. Uh, did it do what the three hundred dollars bullshit? They have they have a combined revenue of one point three billion dollars, including roughly five hundred and thirty million dollars in government funding, uh, which people were concerned that the whole uh, controversy with them selling baby parts was being done and funded with mm. government money. Exactly. So you can imagine how that would be an issue for people. But it's been stated that someone else right. no government out that money the was clinics do used. the same thing. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, there doesn't seem to be a problem with that. So no government money is used for uh the research. For the research. services. With, yeah. So what are the services the they services, say? And did you get services, this off a of Planned Parenthood website? No, I did not. Services, birth control and long-acting reversible contraception, mm -hmm. emergency contraception, pregnancy testing and pregnancy options counseling, testing and treatment for STDs. Which is a big thing. Sex education, vasectomies, which I did not know uh, about the vasectomies, Absolutely. LGBT services, yep. and, of yep. course, abortions. Absolutely. Uh, Planned Parenthood is well known for providing services to minorities and the poor. According to Planned Parenthood, 75% of their clients have an income at or below 150% of the federal poverty level. Interesting. Targeting the poor. Interesting. Okay. As they always. Interesting. See, it's state sponsored uh, death camps. That's all. Just like right. Guggenheim, Auschwitz. This is the That's killing of, of our innocent life so, that our children and that our daughters' minds have been muddled into thinking that these killers are going are, exactly. So let me ask the panel, just okay. sort of like, because like you said, they do STI testing. Right. Do you think there's a need for STI testing? Absolutely. They, Most not only do they test, in some places they actually give treatment. But America right? gives treatment you food stamps free. too. Exactly. I mean, I you mean, know. you can always, there's always going to be, <laughs> but I mean, there's it's just always like, going to be. They're bad anyway because no, they. Well, Jeffrey I mean, Dahmer was, was cool when he was telling jokes is when he wasn't eating people. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 but then it's what dumber. should we do instead? What are you going? For, what are we going to for all the children? So, so let's say nobody has an abortion ever, ever again. Nobody it's uses not, birth I, it's control. Not about How do we take care planned of kids? Marriages, there are so many kids planned that marriages. are in the system okay, well, that need. So what not, are with, some of those solutions? With, with me, it's not so much about. It's about the institution that's <laughs> implementing some of these policies and procedures about us putting our trust once again in mm -hmm. people who the from the inception of, of, of Planned Parenthood, what their design, what their mission was, right. just because I they changed the right. face of it. Right. Because that. they give us candy now instead of yeah. a razor, <laughs> straight out, put a right. razor in your apple, right. it's right. a razor in the apple. Exactly. Until we become a self-sufficient, independent people right. and start to do these things for ourselves. Right. We're relying on the people who not only, um, with, like you said, with the eugenics, and um, are destroying us physically and experimenting on us and studying us and it's going to okay. take somebody because we can go and from what they us by and, state terror. and we can right. go we can go on the website and say what their their things are but it's going to take someone to do the research to really find out about them but it's like this with me um damn and I forgot my point yeah. well, let me I, think, I, think I think I feel what you were saying cuz I think you were saying that you know this is something that we can't trust because of the you know, origin of it. And, 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 to be, and, and to be perfectly yeah, honest, history, right. I can agree with that. Right. Well, see, but yeah. I also want to say that, you know, there are issues in our communities that are not really being taken care of. STI screening, which is free, you know, mm -hmm. um, because they do charge for that lab work. Um, the, the, the birth control, so that means we don't have to have somebody trying to decide how to use the birth control. You know, they don't just, I mean, how do we teach our kids we, and each other in our own practices do we have safe okay you asked the in question in our own practices and do we use birth control the historical way that we've been able to deal with the family and marriage is planned and arranged marriages in america we've been taught to think that that's somehow a, a bad thing but in reality, if your mother and my yeah, I have some yeah, then, you go, then, then you go back to free will and personal choice. Yeah. Well, it's free it's will and personal I'm choice like, does play into it. But at the end of the day, when we're talking about how to 
uh, uh, establish a safe environment because ultimately when an adult becomes an adult, they can do whatever they want to. Right. But through culture and proper training, you give your children the understanding that the male and the female were put here to co-create and produce children in a sophisticated relationship called a marriage. And that marriage is based on economics, it's based on nationality, it's based on uh, a society that is trying to develop a cohesive structure to, pro to eliminate STDs, promis promiscuity, sexual impropriety. All of these things are centered around the focus of planned marriages. Now, will everybody grow up to marry the person that their parents have chosen for them? Maybe not. But the ones who, who do have. follow those principles, their parents have looked out for them. They've looked out for the economics. Yeah. They've looked out for the beauty of the parents, of the, uh, of the child's parents. They've looked wow. out for all the things that young people going out for a lustful tryst won't consider because in America, the woman has been uh, looked at as like ab objectified. And so when Both we people sound objectified in this case. But in no, in this case you have Men are more intelligent, than uh, re, uh, resourceful, experienced people developing yeah. relationships yeah. and bringing up the children to where they can respect one another and look at the relationship between a man and a woman, not just as a sexual thing, but as a, a way to build an empire. Did you have a plan, Matt? My thing is this. It goes back. It's like what you said too, and and I like what Gideon said, but it, it just going back to a culture. You know what I'm saying? Who taught before the Planned Parenthoods? Who taught us sex ed then? Exactly. Who taught us how to put the condoms on then? Who taught exactly? I, now when I, you went with the elimination of the black male, with the elimination of the black, with the elimination of the black male, and the stepping in of programs like this, with the force. Um, the alternative lifestyles that they're forcing your children to learn in school. Right, the things right. you have institutions and government institutions coming in, rearranging the African, the black community here in America, and telling us what we will and what we won't accept. Even to the point where you and I, which I know to be a beautiful sister, and I, I, I don't never think you want to enter the black male, but where we will have discussions to where I get heated to where we will be womenist and this and that. And we can't afford in our communities, we can't afford to use that type of language or to even identify ourselves with the same ideology and philosophies as these Europeans. Well, we also Europeans. have to listen hold on, hold on. to each other. And okay. I feel like a lot of times we, 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 we can't identify with the ideologies of the European. That was a part of their construct in their plan from the beginning yeah. when they took our culture away from us and imprinted us exactly. we are a circle culture of completeness and they have forced us into their square exactly and well, it has caused all type of chaos within absolutely. our community mm -hmm. to which to which they want to then in turn blame us for the chaos that they have created yeah. absolutely but we use exactly. terms like anarchism absolutely. you know we're interested exactly. in anarchism we're interested in socialism mm -hmm. and those isms are fine until we talk about something that is actually personal for us well, and, I, and i and i'm okay with us needing to take time to actually work it out. I, sure. I feel like, for me, I decided that it was more important for me to struggle with my brothers than to actually, you know, try to deal with patriarchy, you know, mm. in, in a predominantly white setting. Like, it's kind of like, I would rather fight with my family members than I would, with, with you know. With anybody else. But, I, but it's just like, the real is, is that, you know, you have to understand, you know, one of the family is feeling a certain way. Yeah. And so I think that we need to talk about so much stuff because definitely when it comes to relationships and black people love to talk about relationships. Mm -hmm. And I think that when we're talking about the struggle, when we're talking about building together and how we're going to work with each other, I think struggling together, part of that is some of this tension. Yeah. And I think that's okay. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, where, where my attention comes in and where I know we're gonna get to Vince so we yeah. can go because we, we didn't shout off is I think in the black, first of all, especially come from the black woman, when you start out with the phrase as the only woman or as a woman, mm -hmm. that's going to, especially with me, going to set a, a bad I tone, know. a bad note, because <laughs> as black people, we're not on that. Most of us, the majority of us, have been raised by single women. Right. We love her. We know the power mm -hmm. that oh, black right. women have I know in, you the, do. In, the, in the black woman. I know and for us not yes. to listen to a black woman 
re- will set off memories of physical. Mm-hmm. I mean, I wish I wouldn't have listened to my mama right. or my grandmother right. when they was trying. So for us to say that we don't listen to the black woman, right. it's sometimes it's inaccurate. Oh, it's true. It's inaccurate. That's, and that's insulting. Very valid. Right. It's very insulting. Right. Well, it's insulting who, when when somebody see, says that they don't feel. Them. But the thing is, <laughs> because we are, I, 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 feel, I think I think this is actually something that, want, on a larger a thing that we that's need a, to talk about. It is, but I will say that show. it would it would be helpful yeah. if this yeah. was evened out a little bit. Well, yeah. Go ahead, man. If go you ahead. were the only yeah. black person yeah. on an all white panel, oh I'd be out. We've been there. Poked out like, bro, yeah. Yeah. you ain't gonna make but me feel no pain. I promise you. Yeah. But I understand. No, I don't have no fear about nothing, and no type of way about nothing. I promise you. Great, but. I understand your point, right. and I love you, sister. Right. Just to I let love you know. I love right. my brothers. Okay. I mean, yeah. This is what I want to do. I want to give the uh, some of the political candidates, the top four candidates, I would say, <sighs> mm-hmm. some of their, uh, where they stand on gun control and abortion. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to pose a question. We'll get into that. And then from there, I want to go to some solutions about mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. gun control mm-hmm. and abortion. And uh, the shooting that happened yesterday, don't have to wait till next week. <laughs> mm-hmm. This one right here is by it's fire. Well, but, I didn't realize we were but, just, you know, people but, after. But, yeah. hey, <laughs> it, but you don't know what's going to happen on the yeah. 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 So, so, you, know, I mean, you can script right. it out yeah. all you right. want to, but yeah. man, you're going to be in some way. Okay, candidates and their stance. Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, the two Democratic uh, yeah. front runners. What about the black guy? What's the black guy saying? <laughs> <laughs> Falling in the polls. <laughs> uh, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders are both pro-choice. Um, in fact, they put supportive tweets. You know, they, yeah. came, they went to Twitter. Okay, and, okay. Because that's the new thing now. Yeah, it is. So <laughs> they're, they're both uh, pro-choice. Mm-hmm. Trump and Ben Carson, of course, are pro-life. So they're Mm -hmm. anti-abortion. On gun control, Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, they both believe and are for the Second Amendment Mm -hmm. and the right to bear arms, but they do believe it needs to be a lot more stricter Mm -hmm. uh, rules and regulations placed on how people go about getting uh, their their guns. Mm -hmm. Trump and Ben Carson, they're both very strong second amendment yeah. i'm against gun control yeah. uh ben carson said he's extremely second amendment and he doesn't think anyone should ever tamper with it yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. um how many minutes? oh wow mm-hmm. okay so the question is in this scenario with planned parenthood who would you say is primarily at fault three options the gunman naturally right because he was bat mm-hmm. dookie crazy mm-hmm. Uh, Planned Parenthood, who have some politicians have blamed. Mm-hmm. Um, there was one politician. Her name was Representative Joanne Winholtz. She put out. She sent a statement to the Colorado Independent that said, "Violence is never the answer, but we must start pointing out who's the real culprit. Mm-hmm. Um, the true instigator of this violence and all violence at all uh, Planned Parenthood facilities is Planned Parenthood themselves." Violence begets violence. Planned Parenthood, you should stop the violence Let's, inside your walls. We got five minutes. Let everybody at least get a minute. Okay. Okay. I think that, you know. Did he give the three options, though? What, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. The third, yeah. Planned yeah. Parenthood, the shooter, or the mm-hmm. politicians who aren't doing enough to, to what? do enough about gun control mm-hmm. in the country. I, I have to say that um, I, I'm not really a fan of, you know, because when people talk about gun control, a lot of them are talking about out out banning, and I'm actually pro gun. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I you know, I I have a different way of thinking about that, but I think that both can share some responsibility, especially with a lot of the violent rhetoric that you know Trump himself has been saying, right. and that this is not something that is unusual. So, and plus, you know, dude is responsible for. Right. You know his actions well you know i'm going to say and bring in a fourth object and it is the uh culture of white supremacy yes. i knew you was going yeah. there I, why did that, I the know culture was about of to say that. white supremacy has formated a mentality of destruction and genocide that they have practiced throughout the planet mm. whether it's sudan whether it's Eritrea, you know eritrea uh, uh, all over and you know, it's in ethiopia one of the so White supremacy has used these techniques, or whether it's slavery, 
uh, whether it's child slavery, however you look at it, it's the mentality of control by any means necessary that has created this ideology of death, con control even in the womb. A, a life should be at least safe in the womb. And, it, and from these killers, it's not even safe in the mm -hmm. womb. Mm -hmm. when, when mm -hmm. we Tell them how you really like feel, bro. I think that, too, I think that, first of all, like I always said about it, and I'm going to speak fast, African people here in America, that's why I have a problem with this two-party system, this Democrat or Republican, because African people here in America, we're conservative on some issues, and some issues we're a little more liberal on. Right. I don't think that it's a matter with me. I don't think it's I never want to take people's right to have to. I don't think it's that black or white. Mm -hmm. You know, pro-life. Or not, you know, it's not that black or white. Some issues, some, you know, there's circumstances and situations. I would never tell anyone what to do with their body. I don't think the government has the right to step right. in and tell I what anyone that. has to do with their body. Secondly, who the fault about? It's the crazy white boy. Mm -hmm. The white boy got a gun. Yeah, he's true. crazy. Mm -hmm. It's for y'all, y'all out there, and a, a shout out for for the Muslim brothers because everybody's always talking about the radical Muslims. I'm mm -hmm. blaming a radical Christian. Right. Mm -hmm. He Jesus was a Islam. radical exactly. Christian. He's a, he's a radical the radical Christian. white supremacist the white, Christian. White supremacist Christian. Right. So I say it like that. So that's my whole point that I think that as African people here in America, we have to start to, what we say in the Panthers, defy, develop, and defend. We have to defy our own culture, our own more ways and no ways, our own ethnicities, our own things, our ethics that are going to fit us and address them from that standpoint, but to buy into their whole hype of anti-abortion this, gun control abortion and that, is, and, and secondly, I am pro Second Amendment right. I think that we should do like the white boys do. Go out, if you can legally mm -hmm. do it, because I know I'm on tape, buy you some rifles, and shout out to Defense Minister Omar Wally, the Huey P. Newton Gun Club, join yes. the Huey P. Newton Gun Club. Who want to hear, hear yours as well? Go okay. ahead, Vince. Uh, How much time we got? Well, oh, we got five. Well, okay. I'm like, that's yeah, what I was like. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, there you go. Oh, right, right. Yeah. I was going to tell you, but it's cool. Um, I definitely agree with what you and Gideon said about we, we have to get our culture back um, mm -hmm. and stop mm -hmm. following the ideo ideology um, that we were born into. But I will also say that it's hard for a lot of us to wake up mm -hmm. uh, from this mm -hmm. sleep we've been put under because it was so strategically and intricately mm -hmm. done and it's still Absolutely. going and on. it's still going and, on right and that's the thing right. i mean you we it can be modified i'm not mm -hmm. saying that we're going to go back to a straight african culture but let him but finish let him, he was on the okay, road okay, go ahead right now go ahead because we jump right go ahead but i i believe we definitely have to get back to a semblance of our culture like mm -hmm, you said mm -hmm. we have to get back to our selves especially our own spiritual identity mm -hmm. uh, because I know for me once I found that a lot of everything else fell into place mm -hmm, for me mm -hmm. and I was able to find peace as far as abortion goes I'm pro-choice I think a woman has the right mm -hmm. to do whatever she wants to do with her body um, but I do feel like I, in a lot of instances should it be women, discussed women with just, the men, though? I, just, uh, should it be discussed I actually with do. the men? I actually uh, do think that, you know, especially if, if there is a relationship between two people, for my personal choice, I do feel like, you know, you know, we can talk about it together because right. That's what I was you know, about to say. I think but, a lot but of people do that think, without. But I also think that a lot knowledge. of times, you know, what some of my friends have experienced, some other women have experienced, that honestly, you know, it's not mine. I mean, come on now. You know, a lot of a lot of people are kind of like. Oh, you're talking about well, the fathers. We're talking about fathers denying. And, and, children. But but I also you know, push back when people it goes say back that, to that it's black choice. Men, right. It's actually all races. But you, it's like what you said. All races do It's pro-choice. Pro-choice of who you lay your ass with. Right. There you go. <laughs> That's where that pro-choice comes in. The other but, thing, but I would also talk about birth control. Yeah. So but see, it, this yeah. is the other thing that we haven't talked about in relation to the judicial system devaluing the man yeah. and his seed. Yeah. Right. So uh, just like the woman should have choice over her body, the man should have a choice over his seed as yeah. well. But so in the judiciary... We masturbation. Uh, no, the, no. <laughs> masturbation Whoa. isn't used in, in going into another person. Uh -huh. Masturbation is normally for that individual. We're talking about in the judicial system where it's used where right now, to but. control <laughs> the man's seed I, once it leaves it. his body. So the woman Woman, even though she wants control over her body, the man should have control over the uh, organism, the living organism that was produced in his scrotum that goes into that woman to help create the baby. There are no laws associated with that value 
Therefore, the man not only has been devalued, but his life me, has been let me, devalued. Let me say this well. about gun control. I personally don't think there can be anything done now to regulate and control the number and the amount of guns that are on this planet. I don't think they would do it now. I think they're talking about how many will be made, how many will be, you know, if the, the accessibility who, to who certain guns. From doesn't. this point. Right, yeah. but again, like I said before, even with all the restrictions or whatever rules they try to put on, mm. The black market is gonna boom, and if and people want to get guns. That's what we need to do with that. It, it's, right. it's, since it has happened to white America, you see this big outcry. That's of gun true. Control. That's very true. We have had these problems <laughs> yes. in our communities since guns since have been here, and right? nine times out of ten, the guns are not used in the commission of crimes in our communities are not. Register guns anyway. We got two minutes, but this is the thing. When you're dealing with the mind of a killer, yeah. they don't need guns. No, they, That's they a woman. Exactly. She killed five husbands. Yeah. She didn't use I one know, gun. I, yeah, she gave them, uh, what was it? Uh, the, uh, uh, acid, no, uh, the uh, cooler. Cooler. The cooler. Yeah. Cooler. yeah. 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 It, it's like. Police officer, fire, uh, insurance, it doesn't matter. They she need, killed all that. She ended up they killing, killing herself up. in jail. This, this society has so to look it's at mental the health then. It's, it's mental, mental health. health. And, and the it's conditioning of society that are right. causing these people, the things in society, the rules and regulations, whatever this country is doing to these people, these white folks that are making them snap. Right. Something has yeah. happened to making them snap. I mean, yes. see, is the whole thing about I, I do domestic see that. terrorism <laughs> yes. and all that with us. We have been an oppressed, suppressed people. Absolutely. We, we have, have been, been oppressed. We've been, yeah. we've been yeah. terrorized. Yeah. Yeah. We've been yeah. organized terrorized yeah. organizations yeah. that we got still can rally public. We got PTSD from the, the gang wars. Yeah. Absolutely. And gunshots and mm-hmm. chemical yes. warfare from drugs. So we've been subjugated Police. to these type of things in our community. Yeah. Now... Since it's the economy's trash, mm-hmm. the country's going to hell, mm-hmm. and white folks are losing their damn mind. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, go ahead and wrap it up for us because I think Listen, we got about. They don't minutes. give us enough yeah. time of the day. Yeah, I'm man, sorry we digress. Maybe yeah. we come back because there's <laughs> nah, so many issues. So oh man, man. It's it's our our show. Show. Listen, this amazing. is your man Yang and Kruma yeah. coming with uh, website. Uh, website. We appreciate y'all coming in. Yo, check us out on YouTube, the Arena Uncensored. Glad to be here, co-host with all the, all the hosts. Mm-hmm. Keep uh, going. Doing, it, doing, doing our thing, man. So check us out. We have People's TV now. Mm-hmm. Hey, let us know on YouTube how you feel about the show, about yeah, abortion, comment. about gun control, Absolutely. about everything. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? We want to hear what the people got to say, What too. you got to say about it? And, Don, right. thank you for coming into an all-male t- uh, area. Uh, all right. right. uh, I'm the talking. only one. I'm being attacked. Yeah, 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 you know you good, Which girl. is interesting that <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be nice. I want to say what you going to say. I think that we, well... Say it. Speak on this shy about it. You're mocking me. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, don't mock my You know we're not attacking you. We love you. That might have been a little. Well, it's all done in love. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. We love you, Don. But, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's why. And you spoke longer than any of us. We love our fans. Thank you for tuning in to the arena. Absolutely. There's more hot topics to come. Two Two Yeah, two rules. Black sun in that. Without him in the hizzle for shizzle, nizzle. Yeah. And I'm your radicalized Hebrew bro. Bruh. Get down Bruh. in the half. Is there such thing as a radical Hebrew? Hey. Hebrew was a radical by nature. <laughs> I've been radicalized. I'm just playing Hebrew. Believe don't come to me. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right, I we think we we thank we're, you for tuning it, in to the Arunia Center again. Yes. All one word, right? On YouTube, on, on YouTube. YouTube. Two rule the magnificent black sun. Yeah, Rapata Productions. You already know. All right, we uh, is we on the.